Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. See you get on. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. End of the line. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of the city that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Welcome. City 17. You have chosen or been chosen it's it's to all relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully Were you the provided only ones on that train? our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so... Whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's Overwatch safe stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice, though, letting me wait for him. chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. In the citadel so thoughtfully provided by the door, I know, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always so, departing, but they never you arrive. Are here to stay or and the ones that do arrive, they never leave. On your way to you never see them go. Gold. They're always full. No one Welcome ever gets on, but they're always, they're always departing, but they never safe. arrive. <laughs> and the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one I see. They took your suitcase, too. They can't get away with this much longer. Welcome. 
Dr. Breen Welcome again. City I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City you 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. To this is his base of operations. Remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. I've been proud to call Me? City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through or to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man! That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. 
It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks and cooked our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a bloody fight. Instinct would inflict a fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct tells us that the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away from change and progress. Instinct, therefore, must be expunged. It must be fought tooth and nail, beginning with the basis of human urges, the urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exorcised our demons in a single stroke. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. They have given us purpose. They have turned our eyes toward the stars. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day that we have mastered ourselves, the day we can prove we no longer need it. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. to breathe. Why has the Combine seen fit to suppress our reproductive cycle? Sincerely, a concerned citizen. Thank you for writing. Concerned. Of course, your question touches on all the basic biological impulses and all its associated hopes and fears for the future of the species. I also detect some unspoken questions. <laughs> Do our benefactors really know what's best for us? What gives them the right to make this kind of decision for mankind? Will they ever deactivate the suppression field and let us bleed again? Allow me to address the anxieties underlying your concern. Rather than First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.
If you're looking for a place to stay, you better keep going. He's one of us. First, consider the fact I that told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. As a species, mortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. It requires radical rethinking and revision of our genetic imperatives. Was that you knocking? It requires planning. I didn't even know we still had a door.
Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. This way, Lord. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. And a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> Don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness... Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is it here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. Huh. I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. We go. Ah, damn it, get it off me! Lamar, there you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, yeah, my pet. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie. It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. Ugh. Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. 
The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit juiced up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is, and it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. This field flux with self-limit, and I've clamped the manifold parameters to my base and LT orbifold. Hilbert inclusive. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No, Finstakes. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Right ahead. Very good. Final sequence. Commencing now. I can't look. Hey, Doc. Thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'll be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage. And best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. What the hell? What is it? It's your pet, the freaking headhopper! Far, let me go down! certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you. Thank you. 
Hey, Gordon. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it.
Attention, protection team. Fast invasion in progress in this community. Isolate. Inquire. Okay. 
unidentified person of interest. Confirmed or maybe established that local protection is being removed. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by- This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Catched you down here, it's bad news for the whole railroad. We save the soul. Unidentified person of interest. Get going. Confirmed your digital status with local protection teams immediately. Get out of here. Attention. Unidentified person of interest.
Unrest procedure code is now in effect. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive.
Protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhacks. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! Thanks for your help. Look, 
It isn't safe here. Now I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go.
You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6, do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Better get going now.
Hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. It's gonna be tough dodging civil protection out there in the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station 7. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Climb on in. Fire her up. You'd better get going now.
Let me remind all citizens of the dangers of magical thinking. We have scarcely begun to climb from the dark pit of our species evolution. Let us not slide backward into oblivion, just as we have finally begun to see the light. If you see this so-called free man, report him. Civic deeds do not go unrewarded, and contrarywise, complicity with his cause will not go unpunished. Be wise. Be safe. Be aware.
aren't you? Well, I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see with my own eyes. Dr. Gordon Freeman himself. Just in time, Doc. We gotta move out before the Combine picks us up. We're just getting ready to pull out. We better hurry. We gotta tear down this camp and get out of here. Greetings to the Freeman. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here, a stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony to a firefight. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on through to Eli's place. The Freeman will accept this weapon, or suffer greatly on the road ahead. We remember the Freeman. We are called Terminus. There is no distance between us. No false veils of time or space may intervene. We see you still in Black Mesa. Clearly we see you in the Nihilus Chamber. We bear witness to the bright eternity of the Nihilus demise. You leap, you fall, we see you flash between the barriers.
Tapas.
something okay it's it's human hello take it easy in there you're safe now you'll have to forgive the scanning process we can't take any chances dr. Freeman Gordon Freeman is that you you've made it here this quickly well Eli is going to be amazed not to mention relieved I'm dr. Mossman dr. Judith Mossman I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement. Oh. <laughs> a 
listen to me. I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to cross through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right on. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat, where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Dr. Breen. He's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? That picture and Alex were all I managed to carry out of Black Mesa. We're still not sure what that does. Alex brings in the strangest things. Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Take a look at this, Gordon. Vortigaunts relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex? Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh. Let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. So, here we are, the scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you've picked something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Give it a try. See if you can stack some stuff to climb up here. some things. Grab something with your secondary trigger, then press the same trigger again to drop it gently. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good doggy! Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw! Good catch! Throw another, dog.
in whom no light may be found. 